Welcome to working with Watson again. Uh, we are going to work today on some imaging. Uh, there are a couple of ideas that you can do here for your kind of hopefully kind of wrapping up the project here. Uh, slideshow a little bit. So you could create a word cloud on the slides so you can see all I did was insert a new slide, change the background color. And then I went through, added a bunch of text boxes. So just text box, boom, text box, boom, text box. Typed in, in each text box, typed in different uh, information that you would get from your uh, slide here about your dinosaur. Putting that in. The more information, the better. I will make a more interesting word cloud. So you could do that. So like here's one that's in the process for the camel ops. So I have all my different text boxes. So herbivore speed, two million, <coughs> two million years, seven feet, camels, alpacas, those are the ones. There. And all we're doing is switching. Once I have all the info in, is you can use the bold things, switch the size. Maybe I want to go alpacas, it's 36. And stretch it out a little bit, the box. And if I change the type, um, let's take that to... Um, I'm going to make that one this one, and I'm going to bold it, and then take it, and I'm going to drag it somewhere off of here, just kind of connecting them all together, making a fun little pattern. So you can see this one, I had most of them up and down, a uh, few diagonal. And, uh, you can also see on here that I have some that repeat. You could go through and repeat or duplicate many of them, copy and paste, copy and paste, change the size, the font. Uh, the more you put in, the more interesting your word cloud it becomes. The other option here that I uh, decided on today, I was trying to figure out how to take one of these ones and put it into our slideshow. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. I spent probably an hour trying to figure it out last night. Uh, I found some cool stuff you can do on this website. Couldn't figure out how to get it to upload to save other than sending an email. <coughs> send you, once you send the email, then you'd have to go on and download the picture. And then once you download the picture, you'd have to come in and upload. It was a mess. So we're, we're not going to go with that one. Uh, but what we will do is, uh, sorry, you go to wordart.com. So wordart up here, uh, dot com. Once you have that typed in, you're going to hit create. Once you hit create, this is going to pop up. It saved my one from yesterday. Let's see if I can get a new one here. Nope, can't get a new one. <laughs> um, let me just clear. How about that? Uh, once you have everything cleared, okay, uh, where it says type new word, yours will probably say... Um, Word cloud art or word art cloud, where those are there, you need to, um, you can click on them and highlight them and delete them, or you can delete the whole thing by clicking where it says remove here. Click on them, hit remove, or hit clear. That'll clear everything out. Okay. Uh, but once I do, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to say today Triceratops. Uh, I'm going to put three horns, uh, 10 be tall. And all I'm doing is once I type in the word, I'm hitting enter on the keyboard and it takes me to the next one. You could also hit add each time and you'll add a new uh, box. So I could say it has a frill. So I, instead of hitting enter, I could hit add um, 30 feet long. I could say um, it was a Cretaceous period, and I'm going to put that it was a herbivore. The, again, the more information you have, did I spell herbivore wrong? I sure did. Uh, the more information you have, the better the, the word cloud itself becomes, and you can make some cool stuff with it. Once you have everything typed in, you have to hit visualize. Da -da 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 -da. And once it loads... Uh, you can see it changed, but it didn't change my shape. So all the words are different. Instead of transors, it's got the three horns. It's got frill. It's got triceratops itself. Now how do I mess with it? I don't want a tyrannosaurus. Um, I actually uploaded the tyrannosaurus image. It is not just there to be done. I actually went through and did this. I did that by finding add image. 
Uh, if you download a picture of your dinosaur on the computer, you could do that. That's what I did. It took me a little bit. Don't You don't necessarily have to. But maybe I want to go to nature. Maybe I want a fireball. Maybe that's a meteor um, that came through. And the entire, you know, dinosaur population ended up going extinct. If that's your belief. I don't see any volcanoes on here, so that's what we have to go with. Uh, but you can try and choose any of these things if you want a cloud. Uh, it is called a word cloud. They are... Sorry, just different things. I would try and have it match your animal or your dinosaur in some way. You could do your, I'm sorry, you could do your dinosaur or you could do your um, Ice Age animal. Either one is up to you. Once you do that, uh, again, we have to hit visualize. And it, once it loads, it should change to the fireball. Boom. And there's everything I have with it. I can also change the font types. Maybe I, if I have a, mm, I'm, ooh, I like the Milton, Milton, Tonia, Mil, Miltonia, Miltonia. Does that look like Miltonia to you? I don't know what that is. Um, again, you have to hit visualize. Every time you change something, it won't load automatically. You have to hit visualize. It will bring that back up. And once it loads, again, we should have a small change in font size, type. So now look a little smaller. You could then change the layout. Maybe I want random instead of everything. I'm just going to put random. Again, I'd have to visual, hit visualize. And then the style would be, would be where you could change the color. So if you click on custom and click here, uh, you can then... If I want to get rid of like this one, I just click on it, it goes away. But maybe I want to say, I already got a green in there. Let's go maybe with a darker blue. Uh, I can click here. You need to watch this little dot here. I like the brightest parts of the color, so I put it up here in the far corner. And then hit Add to Palette. Once you close, that has now been added to the part. You can also mess with the background image a little bit, background color, uh, the color emphasis. If you go up and down, changes how bright things are. Yeah, I want to go. Yeah, I want it like that. That's much. Oh, wait, there it went away. It went away. It's not so bright anymore. Maybe in the middle. Maybe. Come on, little fella. Uh, but those are just some things to play with. Now, here's the important part, and we've had a little bit of issue with this today. Um, to get it, do anything with it, we have to figure out what to do with it. You could save it and download it to your computer, but you do have to sign up. So that doesn't really work. Here's the download. You could download it as a standard JPEG to your computer if you wanted to, um, and then upload it to... You could then download it to your computer and then upload it to... Um, Google Slides if you wanted to. The other thing you could do is we're going to try this is to um, email it. This will automatically send to there. Uh, if you want to send it to yourself, we've tried that today. We've had a few issues um, of it not coming through in first hour. Uh, you could also email it to me. So it's Watson, W-A-T-S-O-N-A, -A, no spaces, no periods, at, oops, trying to type in student, unit11.org, uh, put in a subject, put your name in there, then I know who it goes to, so if I'm going to Maya, or maybe I'm going to uh, Lucas, or maybe it's Steve, whoever your name is, and then, so if I say that this is from Lucas, the message, you could just put in word art, a cloud, you can put your dinosaur name there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Send Me a Copy does, but I'm going to click it anyways and then hit send. If you send it to me, I will then try and send it right back to you, send it right back to you so you have it. Um, if you want to send it to your parents instead and know their email address, that might work. Um, we've just had a few issues with email of it actually sending to somebody. Uh, there. Um, and you can see, so on my phone, I actually, if 
I send it, pull up my phone, it actually, I don't know if you can see it on the phone part, but it actually did send to me uh, that way. So hopefully that makes some sense. You, again, you can make it on here if you want. Otherwise, that is how you use WordArt. Peace.